Previously on Xenoblade Chronicles. I wonder what happens if I try to like, if I land down there and I try to like go off the map. Actually, what, yeah, it's just, here we go. Oh my God, terminal block. Ah! And now back to El Monado. Nico B, back with some more Xenoblade Chronicles. When we last left off, we seemingly defeated Zord, though I feel like he's probably still alive. I think he's gonna come out, we're gonna have one last fucking battle here. I don't know, it seems unusual that he would go out that way, um, in like a cutscene. But we did manage to save Juju, and even the old man that we saw foresaw dying, and I, I really liked that that was set up. I thought that was cool how, uh, uh, Shulk was, it was basically just fulfilling the prophecy, right? But what ended up really uh, saving the old man was Ryan's action. And I thought that was cool. I also liked that Ryan pointed out, like, like Shulk, why the fuck aren't you telling us anything about this, you know? Like, why are you keeping it all to yourself? So, like, basically, you know, reflecting what I'm thinking to myself. That's, I, I always, like, I like to see that, you know? If so, if a character's doing something seemingly stupid, you know, if you have a, another character at least point out, that does make it a lot better. It's like, okay, cool. This is like, that's the point, you know? We're supposed to be feeling that way. That said, though, it does seem like all the remaining people over here are fucking dead, as we see from all the blood splots on the floor. Anyway, we have, uh, we have Juju and the old man, so, uh, I can't fast travel, though, so that's why I'm, I'm really thinking... We're not done yet. We're not demon done yet. By the way, I see a few of you bring up like, like, Nico, don't use the, the turbo function so often when like traveling around and I can be honest with you, I it, it I kind of have to, all right? I'm playing uh, two RPGs at once, which I don't usually do, but this game is just, it's massive in, in scope, you know? Not just probably the length, I'm sure the length is long, but also just, just getting around is like, it, it takes time. And this, this turbo thing, honestly, it just makes, has made my life so much easier. Like, I mean, even with it though, I mean, these recordings are still taking a long time. In general, these recordings have tended to be like well over three hours long. So, and I'm, they end up getting cut down to, you know, an hour or a little over. So it's, I mean, a lot's going into it. And that's with the turbo function. Can you imagine how long it would be without it? Like, oh my God, I'd be struggling to get enough content for a single video. So trust me when I say I really need it um, to help make my life more bearable and to get you guys your regularly scheduled content. Can I, oh my God. <laughs> Whoa, it's killing me. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was a little unexpected. I thought I'd just fall down and go, ah, or something like that. No, I slow there and slowly boil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Just boil me alive. Yeah, okay. <laughs> let me, let me. Well, that old man didn't die, but let's go ahead and fulfill that prophecy anyway. Okay, going up. Gonna pop out there, Zord? No? I know you're thinking about it. Oh, well, if that's the case, I hope it doesn't expect me to run all the way back out of here, because that would take a while. This Seriously, this place is huge. I wasn't kidding when I said, even with the, and with the turbo function, it took me a 30 minutes to get through. Without it, it probably would have taken me, like, well over an hour to run through. Also, regular uh, battles tend to take quite a, quite a bit of time. I don't know, maybe I'm just not very good at them, but at least with enemies that are, like, your same level. Am I really having to run back all the way out of here? Oh, oh, I see. There's something right there. There was a... I did notice a... Uh, a fourth passage here on the spinny thing that I, I didn't check out. That's yeah, the fast way out. Freight elevator. Wow, okay. So just take me straight out of here. Good. Works perfectly. You see? What did I say? We're all impressed. <laughs> just like, oh no! I knew it. Hey, why have we stopped? I don't know, but I think we're about to find out. Oh, I knew that motherfucker was alive. Not him again. Oh. No one doesn't give up. This is our chance, guys. He is damaged badly, though. So I feel like now I can finally lay down the pain. Yeah, 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 yeah
Okay. Oh, I, yeah, I can I can hurt him with my mech on now. Everybody! Together! Oh, fuck. Stop. Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah! Oh lord. Oh haste! This is the Monado's power! It's the Monado's power! Uh Oh god. Oh owie! You ain't going nowhere! Oh, by the way, you guys also point out the tension is the are the gauges. Oh god, are the gauges on this? Are the, the face portraits on the side? Basically, their their temperament, and it goes up and down based on how much I encourage them, like so, and that affects like their their hit rate and critical hit rate and things like that. Okay, ah, I got I gotta pull. Up. Look away from me. Boom. God, he's mad. Oh crap. Hey, somebody help me up. Okay. Oh, 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 I ran, I ran out, I ran out. Enchant. Hey, actually, he's not, I can't break him at all. Oh, oh, yeah, I probably got to, I have to do it through the chain attack more than likely. But I'm going to kill him before I get to that. Get to use that. Oh, God, oh, God. Final boost, he's getting crazy. Ah, die! <laughs> Ew, stink, dude. Lost all his limbs there. Now me sad. Did we get him? I would think so. Got your hand it to you. You beat me without even releasing the true power of the Monado. Ah. True power. The true Monado. What do you know about the Monado? Sorry, boy. I can't tell you that. You'll have to find out the truth on your own. The truth? When I became what you see now, that's where my eyes were opened. It was a good ride while it lasted. When you became like this, what do you mean? Well, I got. Time's up, Pipsqueak. I'm gone. Thought. Wait. Whoa. Oh, oh. What does he mean, like a whoa, like a get back? A hollow becoming in a wrong car, like he was originally like a lower mechon and became a a bigger one or something. Is that what he means? By eating the other mecha. <laughs> that would be a little on the nose. Move! We smashed that bronze idiot. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, but he knew about it, right? So, and yeah, I, I was kind of thinking to myself, I'm like, we we got him, but we kind of had to do it in a very roundabout and like not easy way. What not including the dropping him into the the sludge stuff, the ether or whatever, and also the chain attacks. So it was like it's like we won, but it was kind of a circumstantial win. Now the people of Colony Six can rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, uh, Are you okay, Sharla? I thank the stars you're all right. Where are we? Just outside Colony 6. Thanks to Shulk and Ryan, we destroyed that thing. But not everyone made it. Oh? I'm so sorry. Shulk? <laughs> yeah, you should Ryan? be. I didn't mean to cause any more trouble running off like that. 
Forget about it, kid. You fucking shithead. We settled the score. Thanks. Yes. But there's still no sign of that Mechon with the metal face. He's the one we're really after. Yeah. Hope I'm not interrupting. What the fuck? It's him. Oh, is that that's him? Oh, he looks like he healed his face up. Not just him. Oh, uh, what? And tons of them look like swords. What? More swords? Pathetic. After all that talk, Zord was crushed by worthless maggots like you. Okay, so this guy does oh, talk this after all. Talk and all. I can talk all right. And I got a good memory. Fiora, get out of there. Get out. <laughs> wow, what a fucking prick. Dreams were music to my ears. My claws slid right through her soft flesh. Like a hot knife through butter. <laughs> Talk all you want. Because those words will be your last! The Monado! Yeah, it's been a while. But you should know by now. The Monado can't stop me! Ow! Shulk! Shulk! I'm gonna... Anyway you slice it, the Monado ain't gonna work, boy! Didn't work then, won't work now. Now, time to cut you down. We're just gonna topple you, dude. Hey, what? Oh shit, Dixon. Nice. Now, let him have it, beast. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, Dunban's here, boom! Oh! Oh, such hype! Dunbar! How did you... I'm sorry to have kept you. Looks like we were just in time. Did my pants just get tighter? Ah! Oh! Don't forget to organize the party. The formation box is shown when there is a change to the traveling party. Press triangle in the window to display the party member rearrange the party for battle. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, and we get Dixon, too! Oh, oh my god, they're level 25 and 32. Well, actually, I mean, well, we're level 25 now, too, so we, we caught up to you, dumb man. But Dixon's even stronger. Fuck. Whoa. Oh, whoa, look at this thing. Unbeatable. Topple resist. Seriously, look at Look at that thing! Oh, it, and it's also a gun, right? Actually, I guess it's more like a gun blade, then. anti mechon glaive and general's attire. Oh my god, Dumban looks fucking awesome. Looks like his arm is still uh, out of commission, though. Alright, let's go ahead and switch him, then. Yeah. Bye, Shulk! <laughs> You're not the main character anymore! No, let's go ahead and... Ryan, sorry. Charla, sorry, but... Let's try the new boys out. Alright. Back to the Nano's power! Boom! Oh god, you guys get knocked over? Oh shit, what's happening? Break screw! The done ban! Not today! Maybe. Okay, uh, first chances, done ban! Oh, okay! Yes! Your fate has been determined! You shall live! Alright, start to get that. Ah! Ah, I'm feeling it! I probably should have switched out to Dixon, playing as Dixon or uh, Dunban. I didn't really think about that. Just to see what they played like. Ah! Feel my power returning to me! Ah! Oh, there we go. Daze him, daze him, daze him. Boom, there we are. <laughs> nice attack. How good a win. How good a win. Pretty great. 
Ow. Boom. Shit. By the way, you guys were pointing out that I got to try to hit it in on the rim of that. I, I, I figured that out a while ago, but it can still be kind of tough. It's not into to get them. the best, uh, Where are they coming from? uh, tension I can increase. I the smaller ones, but the rest will be like fighting Zord over and over. If only the Monado would work on these things. Focus, Silk! Look out! Uh! Ryan! <laughs> Look at you all! Look at this, metal brain! That it, Grandpa! <sighs> Running out of ideas here. <laughs> You may be able to block a projectile, but let's see if you can block this! A really big slash! <laughs> Tell me, how does it feel to be such a pathetic hero? You okay, Dunban? Oh, does it hurt? I bet it does. It hurts because the Monado won't work for a bunch of losers like you! Uh, what are you? Save it. I ain't interested. You little maggots need to learn when you've been stepped on. Oh, fuck. Right. Everyone, fall back. Does it look good, Run, right, guys? Change a thing. I'm gonna wipe you out once and for all. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the f- Whoa. What? Whoa, what's happening? What is that? Whoa! Whoa! Now's our chance. Let's play some sad ass music right now. Guy, <laughs> come a little bit. Oh! 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 We must be outside the tower. Whoa. Welcome, true heir to the Monado. Oh, whoa, I'm seeing some new people. Weak, weak and pathetic. What or who are you? You will pay for what you've done. You will know the pain and suffering you caused the Emperor and Fiora! Whoa. Another one. Whoa. Enough of this. Is there a person inside you of him? You're lucky, brat. Next time, your head is mine. Dude, You're no. I've, I've seen your future, bro. I'm gonna wreck you later. Shoot. Right. Let it go. You've gotta be kidding. He's the one who killed Fiora! Know your limits. We'll get another chance. Fine. That thing saved us. Whatever it was. Telethia. Oh. Uh, you did well. Oh! But what of the boy? Oh! Well then, there is much to be done. Well, hello there, mysterious silver hair figure. Oh man, that was fucking intense. Seriously, a lot of this is like, I feel like I watch it like some really epic ass movie. Oh my God, music swells up and just shit goes down. It's so fucking dope. Oh my God, oh yeah. Look at all these power members now. Although I feel like Dixon may not be around for a while, but oh, dumb Ben came back and he's fucking glorious. Oh. Man, okay, wow, that was a lot to take in. So I, I recognized that one guy who, when he said the heir to the Monado or something I, from a previous vision, I think. And then we saw a whole bunch of like new characters, and then the uh, metal face show up, and it looks like I was actually damaging him. Right? I was saying you pay, you pay for the Emperor. That's somebody we haven't met yet. I, I think. And uh, so at some point, it's like. I, I think that is it. I think I need to get, like, the true Monado's power, like, maybe get all the abilities to it, and then it unlocks this true power that I can use to, to cut through those things. But it also seemed like, didn't I cut into Metal Face and see that there was something, in, someone inside it? So, are they being controlled by people or something? Is that what we're trying to see? That the Mechons are just being controlled by, like, Homs like us? 
I thought it was you. Nice to see you, Dixon. It's been a while, Grandpa. One year, if my memory hasn't left me. Good to see you haven't kicked the bucket. <laughs> Put a sock in it. Wait. Dixon. Dunban. You're the heroes who risked your lives a year ago in the battle to defend the colonies. I like Dunban's new outfit. Looks posh as shit. <laughs> What's a pretty young lady like you doing hanging around with this bunch of slackers? <laughs> hey, girl. Dunban, Dixon. Thanks for helping out back there. I don't believe we did anything. He's right. Save your thanks for that giant bird. What was that thing? A telethia. A mystical beast that protects the sleeping Bionis. Though I've never heard of one ever venturing down to where us Homs live. Strange. A telethia? So that's what it's called. It was being a controlled by somebody that else. Or... The Bionis. So, what's your plan from here? Follow that metal faced machine, I presume. What else? He's gonna pay for what he did to Fiora. Well then, there's only one place he'd go. Galahad Fortress in Sword Valley. A year ago, those things were building a huge fortress right in the valley. Ooh, pretty music. Practically, it's an excellent location to launch attacks from. I feel there's a strong chance they've now finished building it. That would explain why both colonies were attacked recently. Sword Valley. The very place where we made our last stand one year ago. Oh. So we settled. Bash down a fortress and smash some metal brains. That's where we saw Easy the beginning of the game. Chalk? There's somewhere else I need to go first. But what could be more important than... Wait. You saw another one. Saw what? What are you on about? I can see the future, Dixon! These visions sound pretty handy. Well, out with it. What do you see? I was somewhere very high up. I was fighting at the peak of a huge tower. Fighting Metal Face. I heard a voice. And then the Monado's power was unleashed. His armor instantly gave way. The Monado doesn't work on Metal Face at the moment. But if that vision comes true... A tower, huh? Doesn't give us much to go on. Can you remember anything else from your vision? I remember a huge horn. That's it. As I fought Metal Face, I could see the Bionis head. Prison Island. Prison Island? I've never been, but I've heard of a black tower at the head of the Bionis. They say it was built by the ancient High Entia race. The High Entia are real? I thought they were a myth. I wouldn't blame you, son. An ancient race living at the top of the Bionis? It does sound crazy. But Bionis is home to all kinds of different people, not just us. That includes the High Entia. I get a distinct feeling it's going to be connected to the Telethia as well, right? Like, that guy was that we saw was the High Entia and he's controlling the Telethia? Maybe. The High Entia, huh? I dismiss them as folklore as well. Never assume anything. Seeing is believing, right? Have you ever met one? Well, yeah. Wow. Dixon, man, you're just full of surprises. What can I say? I'm well-traveled. <laughs> and it's all for your future. Day and night I've searched for new lands, met new cultures, and gained knowledge for our people. The life of a wandering old fool. A lonely one at that. <laughs> Stop your whining. You do it because you enjoy it. And you make a tidy profit. Who asked you, dumb man? Well then, Shulk, what's it to be? We'll head there. There are alternatives. We could abandon the colonies, find a place the Mechon will not discover and live in secret. I realized something when we were fighting Zord. Wherever we go, they'll follow. We can't run from these things. We must fight on. I see. Then I am obliged to join you. You want to come with us? Scared I'll get hurt. No oh, way. yeah! We know you're stronger than anything. Right, Ryan? You bet! I've recovered a great deal since we last met. And Our that mighty sweet. old coot over there made me this. Sharp. Light. Perfect for cutting through steel. Show me a mech on and I'll slice it in two. After I, I enchant you. Peak condition, but I'm useful. I can't thank you enough. We're in it together now. You can count on us, Dunban. 
Miserly old coot. That sword is forged from mech on armor. It's worth every penny. So you keep saying. If you want to go to the Bionis head, you'll need a guide to get to the upper regions. We're at the bottom, so I guess the only way to go is up. Right, but we'll need to go up the lower back first. The lower back? Colony 6 is right at the top of the Bionis leg, so we'll have to head around the waist. Through a place called Sartal Marsh. Follow me. Ah, Dixon became a became a guest. Anti Mech on Glaive. Fuck, it's strong. Already get it up to six hundred on attack power. Actually, yeah. Oh my god, I have the whole group. His strength is insane. Look at that. Look at that fucking power. This arm of mine burns with awesome power. Yeah, all stuff he has is already pretty good. Honestly, the only downside is they didn't have any uh, uh slots to put gyms in. All right, switch Dumban over to uh to be the main here. Oh, battle tactics. All right. Blossom dance. My talent art is blossom dance. Plus B in time in these slash, and I can strike up to four times in succession. The talent gauges fills up when I auto attack. Oh, cool. My style is to avoid attacks, but I can do a large amount of damage. You won't see the young ones doing this. I'm more t about taking the hits than dodging them. You might want to wear light armor so you can quit, stay quick on your feet. Ryan and I are both skilled at drawing aggro but my technique is to perform attacks that cause heavy damage. Gems that increase your agility would be the perfect complement to your style, Dunban. I see, okay, cool. Oh man, it just keeps, his right arm just kind of limp down there though. It's like, it's just totally unusable. It's gotta be hard though. I mean, he's going from being a righty to a lefty, unless he was already like ambidextrous. So let's see, what's uh, let's see what your arts are like. Okay, we got Gale Slash. Stab an enemy quickly and deeply, inflicting, inflicting bleed damage. Deal devastating kick and flicks break if used after Gale Slash. Oh. That, but it has to be used after Gale Slash. Okay. Aura of High Spirits cures Party of Confuse and increases strength. Okay. Uh, oh, you guys told me apparently. So orange ones are for aura. and But apparently auras can only be uh, added one at a time. Uh, okay, I see. Oh my god, it's just how much AP he has. Uh, worldly Slash. Combo lowering physical defense after Gale Slash lowers strength. Oh, interesting. So Gale Slash really kind of goes into a lot of things. Fix your battle eye. Fix your gaze firmly on a single enemy, creating an aura of focus. Double attack rate. Uh, steel strike. Pulverize the enemy with a precise attack, inflicting topple. Oh, he's got topple in his arsenal as well. That's nice. Aura that removes de debuffs and grants haste. What does haste do? Just make you move and attack more quickly? Uh, blinding Blossom. Impressive exploit draw aggro from a party member to Dunban. This all seemed quite useful. Because Gale Slash 1 does seem pretty important, though, since so many other things seems, seem to be based off of, uh, you know, make, getting, making the most of that skill requires using Gale Slash first. Yeah, just from just from glancing over his skills here, Dunban actually seems pretty fantastic. I don't know if I'll... Should I take out Sharla or Ryan? I, he does draw aggro. I don't think he's quite as beat... No, he's nowhere near as beefy as Ryan is, though. Yeah, I mean, Ryan has, like, twice the health he does. Still think he's probably better for drawing aggro. Problem is, he doesn't really have any healing spells. Okay, so I'd asked, uh, I was like, why do so many people seem to think Charlo is so bad? The main issue appears to be that uh, other characters will come around that are just a bit better, and that they also have healing skills and attack skills, while Charlo really is mostly about having the healing spells. I mean, she's got some attack ones in there, but just not as effective as others. Um, and I, I think from what I heard from you guys uh, is that even when you start getting party members above three, uh, the ones that aren't in your party will still gain the same amount of experience, I, I think. And if that's the case, then that's fucking awesome. Okay, I, I think I see now having this many auras on him probably isn't the best idea in that case, because you can only, it's like you said, you can only have one on at a time. Welcome of art! So have we actually, I mean, really saved Colony 6 yet? I mean... We killed that one guy, but are the other ones gone now, or? Kind of wouldn't think so, but where the hell are we? Oh, we're wait, where's the hell over here? Oh. That's two Ambiglon turtles, hopefully this will go some way toward helping the colony. Right, we got another uh, heart to heart here. Uh, don't know who it belongs to. Oh, freight elevator. <laughs> I forgot to grab that while I was here. Well, hello there, little squirrel thing. 
There we are. Oh god, okay. Blew that squirrel the fuck up. Pod Depot. Follow my lead. Follow my lead. Hey, look at me. Oh, absorb aggro from another party member. I see. So unlike uh, Ryan's that just calls on everyone, his will do it. Just take it from a specific uh, person. Still getting stronger. Oh yeah, man, get a lot of experience here from stuff happening. Grom Nebula. Like just by himself, he can actually do the the full topple. I love that. Let's try this. Uh, remove debuffs and grant haste. Oh yeah, it makes him attack more frequently. I think. Oh yeah, look at him go. Oh man. Oh. All right, let's do the talent art. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, okay, I'm liking Dumbbell a lot. He just seems like a massive damage dealer. Dual Garter. What do you know? Another weapon for fucking Ryan. Who would have thought? Oh, yeah, I didn't even check out what his uh, skill tree is. So I got Bravery, which is the. Yeah, everyone seems to have this. It lasts for medium equip of weapon of uh, armor. Uh, battle boosts strength when HP's a max. Increases tension after a successful uh, battle star affinity. Increases aggro draw when dealing damage. Grants HP up buffs at start of battle. Oh, by the way, you guys, so you guys told me uh, the real reason for the having like uh, high level enemies like wandering around uh, is that it, it sort of makes the world feel lived in. And I suppose, yeah, you could definitely argue that. It just gets a little annoying when like you get quests that require you to go to an area that's like. It's got some lower level enemies, but they're right next to this massive uh, higher level enemy. That said, you guys did tell me there are ways to sort of uh, uh, rectify those situations. Uh, because you can put on these uh, certain specific skills called cloaks. And I actually, I think I got one earlier. Like, th there's apparently an earth cloak, a water cloak, and an air cloak. And they each protect against groundwater and air enemies, uh, respectfully. It may or makes it at least less likely for those enemies to detect you. I see. So that can help for uh, avoiding the stronger enemies. Okay. Well, the fact they got ways to actually to avoid the uh, running into them that that's good. Okay. Extends the duration of auras. Uh, reduces the effects of spike attacks. Not sure what that is. Uh, reduces depletion rate of party gauge outside of battle. That's actually kind of nice. Um, improves physical and ether defense of light equipment. Uh, Resource HP when dealing a critical hit. What? What the fuck? Seriously? That's awesome. Uh, greatly increased aggro when no armor is equipped. Oh, wow, really? It's going, I'm going in naked. And it's not going to be very viable. I feel like I died just really fast. Increases agility when HP is at half. Increases the chance of a double attack by 5%. It reduces the weight of equipment. Greatly increases agility with no armor equipped. Yeah, that one, that one that seems the least useful. I think this one seems like the best one, honestly. I'll probably focus on this for the time being. I've learned a new one. Uh, reduces weight of equipment. Does that make it so I move and attack more quickly or something? I, I honestly hadn't even noticed that I had weight for uh, equipment. Uh, and for his, increases attack power of equipped weapon by 10%. Nice. For hers, uh, increases ether, which is perfect for her. Uh, grants physical defense up, buff at the start of a battle. All right. This one's mine. I can tell when you when you get it, when you get a big boost to your attention there. You see the screen light up a lot. Well, we mustn't be careless. It does seem like all the mech on are gone. I kind of didn't really think like just killing that one dude or would actually get rid of all of them, but spirit climat madness. Although I suppose that to, oh, here we go. Ryan and Dunban. But we need a big purple affinity. Uh, I suppose the, uh, uh, that little dragon thing that came in did sort of scare him away for us. So must have scared away the rest of the army as well. Colony six gate. It is close tightly. Oh, okay, so I still can't just walk in, I guess. What does locking onto a target do exactly? Just make it more likely to hit them? Emperor's Plate Spit Cluster. Oh, there it is. Uh, heals debuffs and grants haste, which reduces time between auto attacks. There we are. Oh, it's a weapon for her. Although, unfortunately, considerably weaker than what she has. Although, it is a big booster ether. Uh, does it actually look any different? Actually, it does look a little different. Ooh, cool. Unfortunately, I think I still probably will keep her the one she has. Empress Blade. Oh my god! Look at that! 
What a spike. 60 damage back to the attack. Oh, there you go. There's the spike. Cool. Wow, it's got a high defense ring, too. Or Zeke their defense of it, but... Oh, my God! He's going full bionic! Oh, I like it. It matches his gloves a bit, too. Oh, my God! Going full mecha, baby. Oh, yeah, this is heavy. Heavy metal! Oh, this guy's got a name. Don't overdo it. Not gonna happen. Oh, it still happened. Shit. <laughs> oh, seriously, I, I put the, the thing to dodge physical attacks up to avert my fate. It looked like I did, but then he still killed me with it. Like, ah, no, you're still dead. It sure rains a lot out here. Serious thunderstorms. Oh, Misty Path. Season Traveler. Is this leads to the march? Kelsher Wetland. Does appear to be that way. Satoral Marsh. Right around the left buttocks. <laughs> ah, I see some birds. Ooh, pretty. Oh, God, it's one of those big turtle things. I've never seen anywhere like this. You see? This is why I've been saying you need to get out of the lab every now and then. <laughs> We're aiming to get inside the Bionis. We can get to the upper regions from there. Wow. I've never thought about going inside the Bionis. The closer we get to the top, the more monster trouble we're gonna run into. The only things I venture this far in are the Nopon merchants and curious types like me. We're gonna need to head up right up but the Bionis' anus. It's the only way. You really know all the fun spots, eh, Dixon? <laughs> you wanna get to the top? Then this is the only way. We'll push on. No matter what. That's the spirit, Shulk. Alright. We do seem to have a shop and stuff out there, too. Okay, before I do any of this, though, I, I kind of feel like I need to go back and revisit some of the, the previous areas. Make sure some new stuff hasn't popped up. Oh, interesting. I can't teleport back to the where the lift was. Maybe I, maybe I can't get back down there anymore. The central pit. Which is fine by me. That thing was fucking massive. <laughs> it took forever to get down there. Let's head back to uh, Colony 9 and see if there's any like new stuff. And put and of course poke my head back into uh, the refugee camp. Oh! Oh wait, no. These are different kids. Liliana. Was you what it helped out that man Rokov, wasn't it? Well now I need a favor. It's for my mom. Oh, okay. Oh, she's dating that geeky man. I'm worried about her. I think she's forgetting dad. You seem troubled. Don't be shy now. We're here to help. What dad died, it told me this. If mama's ever in trouble, look in the little cave on and go ashore. Dad must have left something important in that cave. I know it! I have to find it, or else a moment forget about dad. So please, could you search for whatever my dad left in that cave? Collect something pressure from the back of the cave at a gore shore. Hmm, okay. It's not like you choose choose whether to show it to her or not. Please, find whatever it is that gave a show to my mom. And, uh, don't come back until you found it, okay? No problem. Consider it done. That's right. Don Ban will have a sword out in no time. Right. One person could only achieve so much. I'll need your help as well. Oh, I can go back inside the house finally. And this guy include Don Ban, right? Oh. Well, still not saying I can do anything with it, though. Oh, hey, some more. Oh, look at this, guys. A bunch more unlocked. Okay, cool. That's... That's good. It doesn't. I, I was afraid that, like, in, I would actually have to go back and relook at them again to see, like, what I had to do to unlock it. But no, now that I've got Dumb at my party, a bunch of ones that were previously locked are now unlocked. So, like, we got this one between her and him and Charla, which you gotta be like, oh, like, they're getting ready to fuck. <laughs> That's the only way to unlock that one. Oh, it's Shulk there. Oh, it's Ryan. Oh, yeah, I got a quick step one. That's what I want to see. Oh, there it is. Aerial Cloak. Reduce the detection range of aerial enemies. Oh, that's got a bunch of shit on it. He's got combo master. Qualities grow stronger when flame is constant. Uh, gentle bow. Cylinder fills gauge fills up more with the gentle flame. Oh, I see. Based on their how much they are, they love each other. 
determines how how many turns I get. So right now, I definitely want to stick with probably Ryan and them. Hey. To me! Yo, to me! Woo. Boom! Alrighty. There we go! All right. Give Alrighty. me that quick step, baby. Nice yeah! Alrighty. To me! Awesome! Yeah! Hey, this ain't bad. This ain't bad. Wow, that's amazing! Oh, I was hoping for more of her quick step, though. I just got regular quick step. Which is just 3%, which is nothing. Oh, yes! Looks like we're good for Pi Piola now. Now we wants me to do what? Take a look at the two boys! Why don't you ask that? Oh, I get it. Check to see how the good their friendship is. Hey, it's totally improved! I can see your boy for some reason! Shulk and Ryder looking much more like they're ready to fuck each other. That, make, that makes Piola happy. Finally, my fan fictions are coming true. I'm so jealous. I wish me and Arim were like that. But I guess boys are different. The girls be best friends like that. But they can't, you know. If you think otherwise, prove it. Oh, for fuck. What? No. What? Now what? Raise the video between two female party members considerably, then talk by... Oh my god, it keeps going! But I don't have two female party members! <laughs> <laughs> All I have is Charlotte. Why, oh, wow, you get 20,000 experience for this one. That should, that should have been an indication right there that this is going to be a long one. God, 20,000 experience? That would knock me up quite a few levels. All right, Emmy Leader, I've done your thing. Thanks for the help. I can report that both targets have been eliminated. Everyone in the defense force is so grateful. Grateful to you and my, and my platoon. Don't worry about it. It was nothing. Yeah, you can always count on us if something comes up. Close to achieving my dream. Be sure to repay you when I reach my end goal. Just give me a little more time. All right, flame gear. Of course, is another weapon for him, which is not that good. That's cool. I like how as we get new party members, they get added to this little uh, this little center piece here. Oh, that's oh interesting. Their opinion of her has gone up now. Impressed. Highly reliable. High regard. They used to be orange, like between them and I think even him. Oh. Hi there. Monica's still looking at him. I have no regrets. I'm better off the man who likes staring at me all day anyway. Oh, interesting. Oh, hey! There we go. She's ended up saying that she's actually happy that she's with that other guy, even though uh, she was into Eric. And this guy's just over here moping. Do I come here for a break? Can't help remembering her. Did the most important girl slip in my entire life slip through my fingers. But I never imagined things would turn out like this. Funny what life throws at you now. Oh, good. That makes me feel better about the decision I made then to have him go with, uh, have her go with, uh, uh, what's his face? Oh, oh my God, guys! Kenny Rohan, something what is for it? us. The crowd by the residential district bridge is thinned lately. The mysterious light at which they used to gaze has vanished. But the question is, do you know why? I can see you know little, but I won't reveal why. You should investigate yourself. It does sound like a really interesting mystery. Well said, boy. You have great potential. Mysterious light that appeared in the lake. Direct information from g colony residents. Hmm, okay. If an ambitious spirit will serve you well, report to me on once you discover the truth of this little mystery. If you don't mind listening, I'd like to get something off my chest. Do you remember my father at all? He used to swing a hammer above his head all day, every day. He used to build and fix machines and was really good at it, too. Where's his own place? Zord Smithy, he called it. Oh, what? Oh, hello. Best one in the entire colony. Everyone said it. But he died a year ago in that battle with the Mechon. And I couldn't even keep his shop open. I had to close it down. So why it's vital that I at least find something to do with my life. You know, talking about it made me feel a lot better. I'll think it all over some more. Now, I was just coming over to talk and see if she had any, like, new things for, uh... New connections to people. What? So her father? Her father was Zord? And it's impossible that Hello. he somehow became one of those Mechon? All I know is this isn't enough. I need to be doing something bigger with my life. So there's someone in the residential district a bit like me. Similar circumstances, I mean. I think I could see how they solve this dilemma and follow suit. Well, tell me their name, dummy! Damn it! Give me the connections here. You alright, dude? That's horrible. Say I'm surprised though. Practically let them in. Brother died last year at the battle. He spent his life protecting this colony only to be betrayed by an incompetent and inadequate defense force. What are you such a bunch of idiots? Oh man, you're like, wow. I, I cannot believe what what a 
What a mind fuck that is from just a random NPC. I was only from a random bit of fluff text. These NPCs will occasionally throw some shit at you. I I'm noticing after you finish some other quests, it's good to come back and talk to people again because they'll like start establishing connections to other NPCs in the in the town, right? Oh my god, though, what the fuck? What the fuck does that mean? So her father turned into. So maybe that's what those metal face guys are. They're like they're like. So we did. We so we did see that. Remember when we cut open the metal face in the uh, vision that we saw, right? We saw a per look like a person in there. So maybe. They're piloting them, they're inside controlling them, I, or something. Or they just transformed Hi into guys. them, I, I'm i not sure. It's weird, but how should be pounding shit? Uh, I've talked to you before. Ooh, that adds some, that definitely adds some fuel to the mystery though. Ooh. <laughs> la 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 la! Oh, oh, I actually got something there. He, he, he threw something there at the last second. It's not like he's just doing the same thing as before. Oh, tea friends. With Marcia, okay. Yeah, hey, Mr. Nikki, long life. Marcia's the same. I admire her love of kids. Okay, there we are. Oh, this guy's got something Jackson. Hi there. Ain't nothing better than staring at the sky, don't you think? Makes me feel a bit guilty, though. Like I'm wasting my time while everyone else is working hard. Little sister Dorothy had to go at, it, at me about it. She said I ain't gonna have much of a future if I carry on like this. It really got me thinking. I can't carry on staring at the sky for the rest of my life. I ain't no good for nothing else. What am I supposed to do? I was thinking about what to do next. Long you come. Must be some kind of fate. I think you're the right ones to find a job for me. <laughs> oh, you want us to go search for a job? Okay, look for someone who will take Jackson on as an apprentice. Okay, thanks. The future's in your hands. Believe me, I'll put 110% whatever job you choose. Oh, interesting. Am I gonna have a choice here again? You want to solve the mystery behind the mysterious light? Don Dungs have haven't stopped wagging since it appeared, you know. But I haven't seen it. They say it's official and maybe a ghost, but I don't believe them. Francois is the one who's actually seen it, so you should ask her. Okie dokie. Oh, we also got a quest. Thanks for help last time. Black Nectar did get my son studying, but not for long. I just used to sweets instead of studying. <laughs> well duh, lady. I mean, come on. That, that was a dumb idea to begin with. Sad enough, he just goes out to play. You, you seem troubled. <laughs> That's where these stock responses sometimes are so awkward. Never mind, I won't bother you about more noise anymore. Could I ask you for help with someone else? <laughs> My son's a lost cause, fuck it. I want you to bring me two pieces of heavy burn of iron. Okay. So it says it might be hard work, but we do it. What could you need something as heavy as that for? Well, uh, exercise, that's it. I put on weight lately. Yes, uh, exercise all. <laughs> uh, okay. I already get him. So I'd have to ask. I think you can give heavy bottom for the... Okay, bugger, bugger, bugger. If dumb Ben's on the case, I, I can't let everyone down. Now, can I? I guess I don't have it. Holy mother of fuck. Look at all these people. Uh. Oh, you need to see me. I see. You're one of his king. Forgive me. It's just you don't look the type. Here's what I promised him. Whatever you do, don't look at what is, what's inside. What? What? Oh, Betty for that one quest, right. Hello. And now Francois. You want to know about the mysterious light, you say? Yes, I went to go take a look at it the other night. I am certain it was a fish. A fish that glowed like a firefly. It kept on spinning around in the same place. I am sure its glow was the fish's way of calling its mate. It was very moving, you know. You know, I just remember Dionysus saw it too. And I talked to him. Okay. Yeah, oh God, you want to know about the glowing fish? Well, it's the tie of the colony. So why are you curious? Question everyone's lips is why it disappeared. That fish is, in fact, a legendary firefly fish! That way it's called a fish, usually it can be seen circling the sky. Once every millennium or so, it ascends into the lake. And once deep enough underwater, it lays its eggs in people and kills them all. I mean, on the lake's bed. Where he waste one of the rarest of nature's miracles at work. It's just a shame it's all over now. It's that dominant babies. Okay, uh, return to Candy Roa. I see you looking for potential employers. Your face is gone. Ha <laughs> ha, I joke. Rumors of your work travel fast and hard in the colony. It's for the boy who's always staring at the sky, isn't it? Oh! Oh, this is about Jackson. Okay. Sky. It could be a picture. It could be music. It could be poetry. The sky is like a work of art. I don't mind looking after the boy. Of course I'll need something in return. How about it? Exterminate the Tefra losers of Ilya Lake and Tefra Cave. You know the boy will need more impulse than a tiny piece of sky. One day he'll want to go th through Tefra Cave to see the whole, whole sky. It's worth clearing a path for when that time comes. Sometimes it's necessary to shed blood in the name of art. Okay. 
I wonder where the other cho where else he could have possibly worked. I, I thought it was for the other thing, but okay. Oh, so you think it's the firefly fish that appears once in a millennium? I see. Have this one small hole in your conclusion. So this thing is a firefly fish. I don't believe everything you hear. You should have asked an expert. It's simply a lamp. It was dumped with some debris from the attack. It stayed lit under all the ether until all the ether ran out. Maybe an artist, but I'm no fanciful dream. I don't fantasies for young and old. Whatever, dude, just give me your shit. Auto attack stealth. So we've got more. So know why the lamp went out, but now for the real issue. Should we fix it or not? If we fix it, all who found comfort in its glow will be pleased. Although, on the other hand, the light really is just a light. An accident will uh, be a captivating distraction on the road to healing. I think sentiment and emotion are stopping them from moving on. That's why I'm entrusting the decision to fix the lamp to you. If you do nothing, then the situation stays the same. People will be forced to move on and overcome their pain. But if you fix the lamp, things will go back to how they were before. They will be distracted from their pain. For now, but not forever. Choice is yours, friends. Do we have the right to decide such a thing? Doing nothing is also an option. This decision really comes down to whether you fix it or not. Best to make a firm decision now, once and for all. Let everyone get on with their, their living their new lives. And the lamp or throw the ether cylinder in the lake. Hmm. Interesting. Again, another choice here. Yeah, take this ether cylinder. But to do nothing, throw the cylinder off the bridge. Well, to fix it, go to our no nod and ask him to do it. Are they clear? Idle chit chat. Oh, a lot of choices to be made in this. Like, you really do dictate how this town progresses and uh, people like bomb with one another. It's really interesting. I I I really like how they they're doing it. It makes you very invested in each of the characters' little sub stories. I think I'm gonna mend it. You know, why well, destroy people's hope like that, right? Did somebody say fucking hope? Okay, this is the, yeah. Throw it away. That's not what I want. That's not what I want to do. You want to fix the lamp? That's not going to be easy. You'll need an ether cylinder and two crabble fixed parts. I see you've got the ether cylinder. You just need to get the crabble fixed parts from the junk crabbles. Bring me the items and I'll fix it. I just need to get a look at the lamp anyway. Okay. Uh, collect two crabble fixed parts from junk crabbles in the ether mine. Okay, I haven't gotten that yet. I managed to get all the things in the ether mine. Back attack plus two. Ooh, nice. Recovery up two. Hustle up to Rayon Pike. Oh fuck yeah, this weapon's even better than the one he's got. Boom! I don't think it actually looks any different though. <laughs> oh, okay, you know I saw this first. I was looking at the achievements and I saw this first. I thought it said shower with Charla. I was like, what? <laughs> Get this achievement by showering with Charla. Oh yes! <laughs> shower Charla with her favorite kind of present. I can give presents to these guys. Oh, there's the abnormal brog that I was talking about. They want me to kill. If there are no other, like, incredibly diesel monsters around him. Like this random bird or something. Oh, fucking dead. Nothing. Frog leg meat. Alright, kill the thing. It's not a new friend's get rid of that monster. Do I more than any other to get the job done? So I start to place the fate of our, our captain, okay, with that? Well, it's gonna express how grateful we are to you, friends. Small turn of thanks. <laughs> Thank you, my friends. And where's our cue for today's play plate of fish? Sleep resist, too. All right, I think it's for time real quick to knock out some of these, maybe some of the quests here. Because it looks like, I mean, it seems like we finished the stuff with Colony 6. So I, I imagine they'll be moving back there pretty soon. Hey, Kasharpa Falls. Oh, hey, it's a red item over here. Kasharpa Water. <laughs> Request I haven't, uh, haven't even started yet. Whoa, what the hell? Save the girl. Surprise quest. Manny and Wolf ha are closing in on a girl while she's bathed. Go in rescue her before it's too late. Oh, what the hell? Seriously? Where did this come from? There's a girl bed. Oh, yeah, right there. Hello there, how are you? We appear to be interrupting in the middle of something. Oh my god, all right. No mercy. I came out of nowhere. <laughs> what? Oh, these guys are fucking nothing. They are fucking nothing to Dunbat. Slay them all. Leave this to me. Man, what a bunch of jokers. What a bunch of bonnets. Hello there. Oh my god, thank you, my knight in shiny armor. Alright, Shulk Ryan, I'm gonna need you two to go 
do some reconnaissance over there for about three hours. Why, why, why for three hours? Shut up and do it, all right? I've got important Dunban things to do. Oh, okay, I understand, Dunban. No, no, I don't. Of course you wouldn't ride. You've never been with a girl in your life. Now get out of here. <laughs> but, thank you. I thought I was a goner. The wolf surrounded me. Couldn't get out of the water. This place is great for bathing, but I never come come back by, by myself. Better get back to the camp. Thanks again. Oh, cool. I'm glad I came across that. <laughs> Diver top and bottoms. Oh, my God. Does that mean one of the men gets some... Gets their own uh, fan service uh, outfit? My God, could it possibly be fucking done, man? Oh my God! Oh, wait. Oh, any of the guys get it? Oh yeah, baby! Here we go. This is what I'm doing. I'm going with guys the entire Let's Play. Boom! Oh! <laughs> I thought I was gonna wear like speeder or something. Nah, no, I just wearing some, just wearing some little uh, like swimming trunks, pretty much. Behold, everyone. <laughs> All right, you know, I and I think about it, I can just not wear anything and basically be wearing the same thing, right? <laughs> the diver top is, <laughs> I put it, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my nothing on. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so goofy. <laughs> I think I forgot something. I think what dumb man looked like this when he went to save us. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm here, don't worry. <laughs> Uh, Dunban. Uh, oh, damn it! Epic entrance totally ruined. <laughs> oh man, he's now he's got some tiny swim trunks. This is for you, ladies. Ah, behold! It's a surprisingly high ether defense. <laughs> its weight is zero, as it should be. <laughs> Cause I'm not wearing anything. Ride time. Boom! Ah! Welcome to the fan service episode, guys. This one's for the ladies. And maybe even some of the men. Hell yeah. All right, diver top. Oh yeah, baby. Charlotte's got the goods. Diver bottoms. Perfect. I'm gonna go like this the entire game. Totally won't ruin any important s scenarios. Oh God. Oh God, we're in the path of that thing. No, 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 no. Listen, man, don't, don't, don't touch me, please. I'm just. Uh, 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 territorial rot mark. Me not care about the problems of fleas like you. Blah. Me just swat you. I don't seem to mess with me at least. Listen, I just, I just want to kill these. All right. I don't care about you at all. No! Run, bitch. Run. Too late. Ah! Uh, okay, we're all alive. Territorial is right. Damn it! And just when I thought we were friends. First, you have to stand in the area where all the dudes are that I need to kill. Piece of shit. Just fucking go, man. Oh, it's gonna ponyo neck meat finally. All right, that was done. There we go. Got neck meat. What? Huh? You actually managed to get the po ponyo neck meat? Can't believe it. Uh, I suppose I did promise. Okay, I'll write a storybook. Story for the book. Let me sure you want to know. Underestimated you. Somehow. Don't ask me why. My luck might be changing. Alright. Cool. Oh, gore, man. Yeah, you shouldn't have come in. Couldn't have come in a time. I got my clothes dry out of the camp, but they've been stolen. No time any clothes. So this really puts us in an awkward position. Soon we're all be running around naked all the time. You know what? On second thought, don't find the clothes. I think I know who the culprits are. You know who did it? Then why not send out a band of young people to get them? Especially just all these children here. There's some young dogs, but they're all cowards and weaklings. It was the Terracute who stole them. There's no need for clothes, but they're too clever, you see. They set traps for homes who were trying to get back their clothes. Can you go get our clothes back? Okay, sure. Do some budget, take care of it. Alright, Northwest here. Oh, Olga's got something else for us. Oh dear, what am I going to do? Oh, it's you. Listen, I need to talk to you about something. I was a chemist at Colony 6, and that's why I attend to the sick here. I just realized that Gorman's out supply of medicine is running out. So I like it'll last much longer. Click a bu bright button so I take, take you to what's the stake. That ingredients to make the tonic, Gorman will be in trouble. Okay, whisk fluid, boogity 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 boogity. Can help you, just leave to us. Uh, from the wisp at the bias' leg. <laughs> Dumb man's got a bit of an exerted uh, jump too, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Me. Not as much as Fi Fiora, but. But do it! Oh, that's wonderful. That's fantastic news. Uncle told me what happened. He asked that you go and get some pony neck meat, didn't he? Can't believe anyone put you in danger like that. Town rider he is, but he can be so very thoughtless at sometimes. Sure, we'll work it out. 
Take this payment from me. It's the least I can do. All right, we got some quirk armor. Good. Yes. Establish the connection between Ewan. Oh. Just thinks he's has got a bad feeling about him. Which is interesting because he's got a bad feeling about Ernest here. Or feels that he's pitiful. Ewan's got something else for me. Hey, it's you guys again. We're just the people I need to see. Um, I need to apologize. So far, I acted before. Since the attack, I just haven't been myself. I did my writing and been all over the place. I sit down to think, and suddenly my mind turns to that day. All that running, and I never really escaped that day. I never will. Consumed by fear, I hid among a crowd of elders and children. For I knew it, I was being led onto the eva evac ship. While all Gadol and the others made a stand until the very end. I was a such a selfish idiot. But I'm feeling more positive now. Once again, feel the desire to put Quill to paper. I've written a few lines since Maturino gave me an idea. Things are a little awkward between us, but it's getting better. Which brings me to the favor I need to ask you. I need sour gooseberries to make some paints up for Mitriona. All right, we saw the future for this one. Well, I had a nice splash of color of the book. The thing is, she doesn't have any, no one, right, okay. Blah, 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 blah. I think I might already have this, actually. You're a lifesaver. I sure do. No doubt about it, those are the sour gooseberries. Use these to prepare the ink. What took me long to mix the paints up? We'll hear a moment. Do, 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 do. That's it. All done. There should be enough paint. Sorry to ask, but could you give the paints to Matriona? I, um, would do it myself, but I can't really face her right now. Please, it's best you hand them over to her. Well, I better get back to my writing. Well, she's literally right behind me, so, you know. Me? <laughs> oh my god, you've been talking to him, haven't you? <laughs> oh, are they for me? I'll let her in some paints from Ewan. Ewan, what a pleasant surprise. I've been eating these paints to draw pictures for the book. How thoughtful of it. Spoke quite harshly of him earlier, but I see I spoke too soon. You and I will be endeavored to make a wonderful book together. But show it to everyone when it's ready, not just to Pamela. Recently, that's how I feel. His feelings encourage me to work hard. Give you and my thanks when you see him. Oh, yes. They are bonded a little bit more. <laughs> now interested. <laughs> but you would like them. Really? Couldn't have done it without you. You'd give the nudge I needed. Please accept this token of my appreciation. The pill in my hand and a whiff of ink in the air. I feel alive again. I truly am grateful. Lime bangle. I can feel the power. I can feel the <laughs> I love it when we just suddenly level up like that. Oh, hey. Matriona's got another one. Some excellent news. Picture book for Pama should be finished soon. How exciting. Mayor put a lot of effort into this picture book. It's not perfect. I'd like you to take a look. It's about to river spirit that grants a wish to stop winning Pama. Oh, oh god. Oh, river spirit. River spirit. Pama come to play. What? Pamma died that day! P Pamma! I think it's my Ted Palmer to go and play in the river. That d Oh god, that's what you're seeing? Oh my god! Oh my god, that's so fucked up! So she reads the picture book, she's like, Oh, that's a good idea, I'm gonna go play in the river. Oh god, Oh my god! Wow, bad end! That's what we just saw, guys. This sounds dangerous, I suppose you're right. Don't give her this picture book, lady! I've dated my picture to not give Pam any silly ideas. To do that, I'll need a lake drop. Of course you will. Lake drop from near Regal Lake on the Bionis' leg. Lake drops make a unique pigment, perfect for painting over things. Extremely rare. Might be lucky and find some at the Regal Lake, though. Oh. Uh. Oh my, I feel so weak and frail and weak. If I had some medicine, I could get better and look after Pama. What's happening? What's now? Something the matter. Just be careful out there, okay? So you'd have a... Maybe another choice coming up here. Imagination's tempered. Hmm, okay. Uh, I see another question here somewhere. Oh, oh hello. her. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> Get back, a picture book wanted a life for thought. He looked so sad recently, would you certainly cheer him up? Wish I could be with him all the time, but I have this ailment. Need my mini slow herb tonic or I'll just keep getting worse. If I had my medicine, I could be with Pano wherever he goes. Collect a medicinal herb from near Tr Tranquil Grotto on the Bonus's leg. Okay. Maybe it's suggesting that I need to do... I should do this first before completing the picture book. If that is the case, that's a nice way that they showed it to me. Alright, in that case, I will do this one first. Uh, from Tranquil Gr Grotto. Okay, I was actually there before. That's where that fucking fish killed me. Oh, actually, we have two items over here. Uh... Oh, the leg drop. Okay, fortunately it was right next to it. Oh, it's right above it. 
Ah, oh, goddammit. It's not in the Tranquil Grotto, map, or lady. It's on a cliff above the Tranquil Grotto. Oh, oh, wait, this is also related. A glimpse of the future shows Pam a drowning. Looks like it's going to happen if he goes to the river alone. Don't let him go alone. So maybe I have two different things here? I'm not really sure. It seems like we're both trying to prevent... Or is it suggesting that we're not going to change the book? I'm, I'm not sure. There we are. Oh, hello. Is that Mr. Lurb? You found one for me. Yes, something bad will happen. Don't let him go anywhere near a river. Got it? I'll keep a close eye and make sure he stays close to the camp. You do care about Pamela, don't you? So, Shorty, he's safe with me. Don't worry yourself anymore. I met your new and made a picture book for Pamela. Kind of those two. Love birds. <laughs> now, don't tell them I said that. Known those two for years. They make a lovely couple. Oh, interesting. I met your husband. Conserve for Pamela as well. But I'm right as rain now. Tell Mitra that I'm fit to look after the boy from now on. I do I still complete the thing? Oh, I said what? Well, I can't argue with that then. Glad it all turned out okay in the end. Extra book is finished. You present to Pamela now. I know he'll be thrilled. It did seem like I had like two different choices here. Be great for the two of them to join reading it together. It definitely seemed like the better choice though. I mean, if I had done, hadn't done the other one, would they would they still have gone? Hmm, still says interested. I said they were seem to be like getting along or something, but what? Friends looking for Pama? This picture book for Pama? Matriona and you would make it. Thank you. Pama always treasures this book. I'm like a grand grand up in order to read it to me. Everyone is so kind. All right, cool. Arc seal. Oh, wow, look at that. A great person. Uh, kind person? Kind person. Huh. Okay. Well, it seems like it completed the other quest after all. It seems like they were tied to each other for some reason. Well, I feel like if I hadn't done that, the old lady would have died, right? Oh, it seems like the better one to me. Matron is wonderful, isn't she? She's a little younger than me, but she's very mature for her age. She's also a very talented artist. Paintings deeply inspire me. It's right out of my league, but that's not going to stop me. Oh, hey, here we go. Go and get her, you and McGregor. Matron and I are having a private conversation. Come back later if you need something. What are you talking about? She's over here by herself and you're over there. <laughs> We're having a conversation. I think you might be deluding yourself there, man. Shut up. Oh, I card him on. Press on. Nice job. I'm so glad to not aggravate that bird right there. All right, got glowing wisp fluid. Oh, Ernst got a new thing? Ain't you had enough yet? You're glad for punishment. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess uh, I really need you to help, help me out with. The grave on the cliff north of the Kashapa Falls. She knows it is. Say it out now. My friend's grave. Put these flowers on it. But I don't believe me when I tell you the truth this time. Never mind. I lied to you twice already. Don't you believe me? Rest of the flowers to the grave, right? It do for us. No, let you do it yourself, piece of shit. Fuck. Seems to be a reason behind Earth's lies. You really trust me now? Thanks, but I'm gonna trust him too much. The flowers in the grave in the cl cliff north of Kashaba Falls. It's the Tekken. It's one of those things that. Ah, never mind. Clutch them all. Thank you so much. Oh, I haven't told you what the remedy I'm going to make. Use the ingredients to make a potent and anti-insomnia remedy. Now all that do is get Gorman his medicine. All right, court gear. Oh, a customer for Gorman. Oh, here it is. So in his friend's, friend's grave, let's place the flowers. What's going on? It's the one that killed his friend? Oh my god, arrogant turkey! Piece of shit! You're the one who turned Ernest into a garbage human being! Now die! To my power returning! Totally! Don't get cocky! Stay focused! Stay sharp! Yes, sir! <laughs> I like how they both responded to, to Dumban there. Stay sharp, stay, don't stay don't get cocky, stay sharp! <laughs> and they both go, yes, sir! Oh, I love that. I love the different combination of banter between people. So, must arrest you when you put the flowers down. And it, I knew you'd be there. Did you take him down? Thicky enough. It's finally over. Someone lied to me and my friend that were there, that there were crystals there. We went there, but wait, but there was nothing. There was nothing. And on the way back, we were jumped by a turrican. My friend died to protect me. Still gives me nightmares. I haven't been able to trust anyone since. Ah, I see. He trusted me and went through the went and put the flowers on his grave. He even got revenge for my friend. Thanks. I really mean it. It was a little something for me and him. Grand boots. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice little ending to that story. I feel bad I couldn't get revenge for him myself. At least he did it for me. It really means a lot. Hey, can't find the person who lied to me, my friend. Just hope I can turn over a new leaf from now on. It'd be like letting him win if I just carried on life living in the past. Oh, and now the old lady's looking after Palma. Chat with us, like, I ain't like, I got all these six. I couldn't be happier. 
So that's the reason Ernest has been lying so much. How sad. I tried to ask him what- Oh! Hey! I tried to ask him what's wrong, but he keeps himself to himself. But I'm glad for him. Because Frank can finally rest in peace and he can be happy again. Oh, cool! His- His view of him has improved as well, hasn't it? Yeah! Relief! Initially, he hated him, too. Oh, my God! Ah, so addicting! I love it! I love my story. Won't put it down. Seeing him enjoy page after page of my book really moved me. Oh, God! Anna asked me- Oh, shit! I didn't- I didn't read it because I thought it was just mumbo-jumbo. She's asking me which boy she should go for. Naughty Nikita or Innocent Kuroki? Oh, God. Uh, dude, I gotta go with fucking Innocent Kuroki, all right? So they're reliable, but so what? Okay, then, Kuroki's my little prince, and Nikita can be my soldier. Oh, I see. Oh, look at that! Little prince. Fre friends again. And soldier. God, sometimes they just pop out of nowhere like that. It's like, there's no exclamation point over there. They just, just whip some shit out. And like, boom! Yeah, it'd be nice if in this menu they actually included whether the thing you have, you're training for, is actually a quest item. Because they they don't actually tell you here. Like, this, I, I need three of these to get a quest completed. I was actually looking at this menu earlier, but it didn't tell me that. It tells me, uh, look, it tells me here. I'm in, but it would be nice when, like when I was uh, looking earlier if it told me that. There we are. Oh my god, this guy is insanity mint. Fuck yes. Oh, finally. Alright, that one's done. Ah, here's where the clothes were stolen from. Yep. Is there anything else in here? Sniper. Vagrant Alfeed. There we are. Oh, interesting. Dumban Sword can actually uh, hurt the Mechon. Normally. I guess it did say it was an anti Mechon sword, so. That's cool. So you can actually get weapons that naturally hurt them. Attack me if you dare! There we are. Our clothes back. No more friend, never garments. No, as a kid, can never have done this by ourselves. Really appreciate what you've done. Thanks, Tiny Tone. And no thanks. Grand armor and grand leggings. Yes. Yeah, it seems that sh the party members do actually level up outside of uh, combat. That's good. I wonder, do they also get uh, skills? Like for their skill tree? Like AP and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I think they do. Alright, my quest is done. All right, White Eduardo. There we are. Oh, nice. Lots of experience there. Frog leg meat. That's another quest done. All right, that turtle is becoming more doable. He's gone. He's downgraded from a red to a yellow. Still, probably don't want to fuck with him though. Oh, there it is. There we are. Oh, no mercy. There it is, Trainer Harmland. He has control of these guys. Boom, dead. There we are. I think I might be the last of them. Yeah, all the ones I've gotten so far, at least. And I didn't see any more back in the uh, back in the refugee camp. Oh, hey, Traveler's Rest. Garugu. I ain't come just in time. Garugu lost friend. Garugu really worried. He went looking for food for dinner, but he cannot come back. Gugu already looks so hot. Gugu cannot find him. Please help Gugu find friend. Locate Batu Batu near Rugel Lake on the... Oh, I, I came across him earlier. Thank you. Gugu go happy now. His name is Batu Batu. He's, he blew his stiff fur. Oh, I know where he is, so that's fine. Oh, you're another person part of Colony 9. Or 6. Oh, hey, that must have been the last area I hadn't come across. Yay, now the entire uh, Bionis' leg has been uncovered. Woo! Yeah! Looking good. Hello there. Yeah, Batu Batu is on adventure. I've had a good time finding food. Garago looking for me? Batu Batu make Garago worry? Batu Batu have a good time and forget about everything else. Batu Batu always get lost. Batu Batu always make trouble. I'll go back soon. You come too. Okay. God damn it. Of course, that area didn't have a freaking fast travel to. Garago so happy Batu Batu back. Garago so happy he asked you to help him. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Point rifle. I got a gun. <laughs> Pre prickly pear. Oh, they got another quest for me. Can I imagine that is as good as the weapon she already has? No way. Batu Batu want to thank friends. I know you good. Can you help me thank my friends? Do you know about Nopon secret present? So I tell you, you need a tol kilos egg to make Nopon secret present. Also need Pandora mushroom. Batu Batu want to help you. Oh, okay. it's all very sudden. What will you give your friends? 
want to want to make something when you bring egg and mushroom. Then I get your friends. <laughs> you're telling me you're gonna give me stuff after I get you more stuff. It's a good idea. I'm sure they'll be happy. Atubatu think you can easily get these things. Can you help Atubatu? Unless he means wait. He wants to give someone a gift of gratitude. I thought you're not even talking about me, motherfucker. A Tokyo's egg meat in Tokyo's nest near Zach's guy post. I see Pandora mushroom and Windy Cave before. Okay. Oh god. Pandora pot. Ah! Oh, the items in here full of these motherfuckers. Mysterious Barnaby. Okay, they detect by sound, so I think I, as long as I'm fairly quiet, I should be all right. Oh my God, it's right there next to him. Get out of the way, stupid. Can I get it without touching you? If I touch you, of my dead? Uh. There we go. Oh my God. That's a butt clencher. Oh God, now that one's right there. Oh, these fucking birds. How do they detect? From sight. Okay, so as long as I'm not in front of their eye, line of sight, I should be all right. <laughs> oh my god, why would he do this to me? The killer's egg. No! No! Sorry. Ah! Go on. I'll just kill myself. That way you can't kill me. That's my logic. That's fine, I got the item at least. Alright, here you go, dude. I you found for me? I'm about to back and give presents to friends. Everything worked out. Yikes, you want to help Batu Batu? Batu ask friends to look for materials for your own, for your own gift? Hom Hom all look same to Batu Batu. Batu Batu should look to. Uh, oh, you goddammit. Yeah, I knew it! You were trying to think us who you're. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking stab you. Look at Hom Hom face more careful next time. Slice him in half. It was you who was planning to give it to you, so he gave it back to you. Great. I also got spiked too. Oh, motherfucker, yeah. now what? Uh, Gary, Gary, need help. Uh, Batu, Batu, going again. Oh, for fuck's sake, where to go now? Gary, Gary, scared. <laughs> oh wait, get, uh, uh, it's like uh, the little robot from uh, <laughs> from Dragon Ball GT. Gary, Gary. <laughs> I thought this is Giru Goo. <laughs> but I didn't start instinctively saying Giru Giru. Batu, Batu, still not come back. He wants to thank you so much for going out and present. Now I gotta have to go find him again. Great. Again, what's he playing at? Why'd you take your eyes off him? Garagu need to watch Batuba every second of every day. <laughs> this guy sucks. I always get lost and never listen to Garagu say. You're amazing. There are many friends like you around. Maybe I had the knob on all wrong. He's telling me about beautiful flower he wants to get on top of a big waterfall. You know where Batu Batu is. Gonna go find him for me? Uh, look at Batuba on a high place east of Zach's guy post in the boss's leg. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. Better not be next to some really high level dudes, but he probably is, based on how this has gone so far. Is it up here in the Believer's Paradise? It is not. Oh, there he is. I'm about to come and get flower called Ether Wisdom. There are lots of monsters now, so I could not go. I'm about to want to give thank you present, but no can do. I know you get flower for me! Then you can thank yourself for me! I'm about to press the thick friend! I'm gonna push you off this fucking cliff, you fat fuck. Where? Where is it? At the top of the large waterfall, collect the ether wisdom. Okay. I was right though, it actually is up here. Got it. This ether wisdom, such beautiful flower. I'd about be so happy. Why do I use it to thank friends? Here he goes, the flower! I'm glad everything, god damn it, why do I even try? Huh? You already helped Batabatu? But Batabatu, bam, bam, bam! Yes, you are, you're the worst. Oh, I just want to give you a thank you present. But now Batabatu know that you just caused trouble for you. Next time Batabatu, tell Garagu for going anywhere. I could not get flower, not get flowers, so other presents as well. This present for helping about about thank you so much. Grand gear and electric plus three. Grand gear. Oh, did that mend their relationship? Ah, oh, yep, it did. Valuable. Well, at least they're valuable friends now. Okay, at least they didn't get me anymore. Grand gear. Looks like I'm wearing a bonnet. It actually does look like I'm wearing a bonnet. A bonnet. All right, guys, well, I think it seems like a good place to end things here for now. As far as I can tell, I think I've gotten every uh, time quest that was here, so I shouldn't have to worry about uh, uh, missing out on anything now. Um, you can let me know if I happen to miss anything. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite, and subscribe if you're not ready to become Pinky Penguin. For this LP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. We'll be continuing on with the main quest next episode, so we'll be jumping right back into it. 
now that we're all done with this stuff. Anyway, as always, till next time, stay classy!